SeekNet presents Stories for Children. Do you ever feel sad because no one understands you? Do you ever feel that there's something wrong with the world and there's nothing you can do about it? Do you ever feel that there's no reason for you to be here? or that you don't understand why you're here. Well, if you ever feel like that, that's the time to listen to this story. This story is about a young man who also didn't relate to the world. His name was Teg Bahadur. He was a spiritual prince from the house of the Guru. Everything in this world is false. It is all just Maya. He had four older brothers and one older sister. His father was the sixth Guru, Guru Hargobind, and his mother was Mata Nanki. Mata Nanki always saw how Sri Teg Bahadur didn't have any friends. He spent most of his time alone in his room. Life is like a dream. None of it goes with us when we die. Whatever was happening, he didn't care. When visitors come, the other brothers are hospitable and introduce the Guru's house to them. They behave like proper princes. But my son, Deg Bahadur, he doesn't do anything. He just wanders around alone. As his mother, she wanted him to be a leader like his eldest brother, Baba Gurdita. Gurdita just takes care of everything. Not only is he so spiritual, like a beautiful saint, he is also a great warrior. He will surely be the next guru and will sit on the throne of Nanak. I am so proud of him. However, Baba Gurdita left his body before he would have become the next Guru. That's when the Guru's wife started worrying more. <sighs> now that Gurdita Ji is gone, the next son is Surajmal. He also knows a lot. He takes care of our house. Everyone likes him. There's Anirai, who has always been super joyful. The next brother was Baba Atal. And you already know how he left the world as a saint. I just wish that the youngest son, Deg Bahadur, could make me proud like the other brothers do. It seems like he doesn't like anything in the whole world. And he doesn't give love to anyone. But there was something that even a spiritual woman like her didn't understand. She didn't see how deep her son really was. Everything in the world is temporary, except for the glory of the Nam and the sadhana of the saints. These last forever, and so does the Guru of the world. She also didn't understand why her husband, the Guru, would give such respect to her younger son. For example, sometimes Teg Bahadur would come very quietly and sit near the Guru. If I am so blessed to have the darshan of such a saint, all my problems will go away. He wouldn't speak, and he wouldn't look up. He would just put his hands together and look at the Guru's feet. While some might think it looked awkward, Guru Hargobind would treat him with great affection. Ah, Teg Bahadur, sit here next to me. Sometimes Guru Teg Bahadur would be standing there not looking up and Guru Sahib would grab his arms and pull him close to him. Oh, my beloved son, come here. Sit on my lap. 
This confused Madananki. Guruji gives even more respect to him than he does to the other brothers. I, I don't get it. Next time I get the chance, I will ask why. Now this was when Sri Teg Bahadur was about 18 years old. The young man, who was now very tall, quietly came in to have darshan of his father, the Guru. He kept his eyes low and never looked up. The Guru pulled him close with affection. Mata Nanki thought, This is just the kind of thing I don't understand. Some people, even if they're very nice people, just don't see who you truly are. Actually, only a great master can see how truly beautiful you are. And we're about to see how Guru Hargobind, the great master, saw his own quiet son. When Teg Bahadur left the room, Mata Nankiji finally asked to the Guru, Oh, Master, please help me to understand. My youngest son, well, he's very simple. You have other sons who are more aware of what's going on. They take care of everything. The ministers meet them with honor. But no one knows who my youngest son even is. He's always quiet and alone. Guruji was amused by her question. <laughs> Why do you show the most affection to him? Have you noticed good qualities in him? I can't figure this out. Please, bless me to know the truth. What is the secret of why you give him this special treatment? First, Guru Hargobind reflected her own thoughts back to her. <laughs> you think he is simple? But it is your thinking that is simple. How do you come to think like this? Whoa, huh, I, uh... Then Guruji addressed the different stories she had made up about her son to tell herself. He revealed the truth that no one could see. You think he knows nothing. He knows everything. And even though he knows everything, he stays silent because his heart is full of patience. Mata Nanki was surprised. She'd never thought about him this way. Uh... You think he doesn't have good qualities. He has every good quality. Oh. There's no one else in the world like Teg Bahadur. Okay, okay. It is because he is full of virtues that he deserves great respect. I, I, well, Wow. What she didn't know was that Teg Bahadur could also hear everything that was being said. He was right outside the window, getting on his horse. Guruji could see him through the window and smiled at him. That is but one reason I give him affection. There, there is more? Now listen to the second reason I give him respect. One day he will be the father of a son who is the greatest warrior. He will be blazing with light and he will destroy the enemies. He will fight many battles and will grind the tyrants to dust. He will spread the greatness of the name of Sri Nanak, the Guru of the world. I will have a grandson? Mataji was so happy. This was more than she could have hoped to hear. And there was more. A grandson who will be a super being. He will be an incredible dynamo who will make Deg and Teg, charity and martial arts. He will spread the light and glory of all the Gurus and he will bring relief to every corner of the earth. Mata Nanki was beaming with excitement now. Teg Bahadur had actually been a supreme master in his previous life. He was such a cosmic being, it's hard for us to understand or describe. In this young life, it was the first that he had ever heard this prediction about himself. 
He kept listening as his beloved father, the Guru, continued to give his blessing. Your son, Teg Bahadur, will not only sit on the throne of Nanak, he will be the Guru's Guru. Because of who he and his strong and devotional wife will bring to the world, he is more respected than all humans and all angels. He is the greatest of the great. That is why I respect him so much. That is why I speak to him with the utmost sweetness. Mara Nanki was deeply humbled. She folded her hands together as she pictured her future grandson as a great warrior. Now she saw that her son has a treasure of virtue that he will pass on to her grandson. I pray, may it all be true. The heavens were also listening as Guruji spoke. They knew Sri Teg Bahadur very well. They meditated with him all the time, so they weren't surprised by any of this. But they were joyful that the truth was being spoken. Guruji said one more thing to bless the ears of Maranamki and Sri Teg Bahadur, who were listening with deep attention. May he be blessed with such a great warrior that everyone will praise him. Bless Sri Teg Bahadur that within this house there will be great wealth, royalty, and estates that will go to my grandson. Mata Nanki was beside herself. She couldn't have imagined a greater destiny, and she couldn't wait for her grandson to be born. Teg Bahadur heard all of this, and then he rode off to his favorite meditation spot to relax there. He was totally at peace. Wahe Guru. Of course, everything Guru Saab had said came true sooner or later. Remember when I asked if you ever feel there's no reason for you to be in this world? Well, listen carefully to this. If you didn't have a reason, your soul would not have been born. You have a destiny, and the Guru knows what it is. Even if right now it feels like you don't have a purpose, remember that Teg Bahadur continued to not be noticed by the world for almost another 20 years. He and his wife spent most of the rest of his life meditating deeply before it was his time to become the Guru. They did very difficult meditations together. For the next almost 20 years, they worked hard on themselves every day. They were preparing for their destiny. And later, he became the Guru. Friends, do not waste your precious life. Use your time to meditate and vibrate on the Divine. Maybe no one would have expected this quiet young man would one day be followed by great devotees. The Guru has shown me the meaning of life. By wealthy people. I would donate all my wealth to him. By warriors. If he only asked, I would give my life. Great, great, great is, is Guru, Guru Teg Bahadur Sahibji. Maybe they wouldn't see that one day he would be able to inspire the hearts of even people who used black magic. At first I wanted to destroy him, but then I realized his great power. Now I bow to him as my guru. 
and I will live righteously from now on. No one would have expected that he would make history that would be remembered forever and that his son would do even more. You see, we all have a destiny. And when we don't know what to do, it's time to become quiet, to meditate. If you take a glass of water and put some dirt in it, all of the water becomes muddy. But if you let that water sit, the dirt falls to the bottom of the glass and the water becomes crystal clear. So now is the time to meditate, to go deep within yourself. It's time to become friends with your own soul. You absolutely have a destiny. So be patient and keep connected to Guru Tegh Bahadur. He understands you. He knows you. He knows your heart even better than you do. And he sees your greatness. So use your time well and become his friend. Beloveds, get to know the one who is always with you. When you feel your devotion to God, he will be right with you. Remember the story of Makan Shah? Well, just as Guru Tegh Bahadur carried Makan Shah's ship through that terrible storm and saved him, Guruji can carry you through this life and deliver you to your destiny. So grab a hold of his feet and don't let them go. The Guru says, Kata kata me har basa Santan kahi The dear Lord lives in each and every heart. The saints have spoken this truth. Says Nanak, meditate and vibrate upon God and you shall be taken across the terrible world ocean.